The iOS Shortcuts app has hundreds of useful shortcuts meant to make a variety of different tasks easier to accomplish on your iPhone. As a reboot of the old Workflow app, Shortcuts has a gallery of pre-programmed recipes that are basically small programs that use one or more apps to achieve your desired results. In this video, I'm gonna share seven great shortcuts to help you get the most out of your camera and photos apps on your iPhone. All the links to these shortcuts will be in the video description and make sure you stay till the last one because that's the best of them all. Let's go for the first one, making a GIF out of a live photo on your camera roll. GIF or GIF, what do you say? I'm saying GIF and you can't convince me otherwise, that's just how I roll. If you run this simple shortcut, it makes a simple GIF for you to share on messages, WhatsApp or Twitter, wherever you want. When you click the shortcut, it goes to your photo album where you can select a photo and then it just makes a GIF. and gives you a preview before automatically saving it to your photo album. It really couldn't be any simpler. This works with video too, as well as a live photo, and you can import video from elsewhere and make GIFs out of them too, which is easy and fun. Maybe you want to create a GIF right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. The next tip is for you too. You can use the shoot a GIF shortcut where you can shoot four photos and they'll be stitched together into a GIF file. Not particularly sophisticated, but can be a good rapid reaction shot. Watch me do it here. Next up, we have the share animated GIF shortcut. If you've used the first tip and the second one, you may have a little library of GIFs now that might get a little bit lost in your photo album. This shortcut helps with that problem. Run the shortcut and the GIF picker finds them for you and brings them up for you to see and share. Follow along with me here. Now it looks like it might be a bit over inclusive and put a few more photos in there, but it definitely gets your gifts too. But this is a great way to find those gifts you've made easily and share them on whatever platform you're using, either through the sharing sheet or by copying and pasting it in. All right, let's move on to number four, which is time machine. This is an easy, quick way for you to see the photos you took a year ago. Think Facebook memories, but on your own phone, not in Facebook world. Run the shortcut and it calls up the photos quickly for you. Click on the list icon in the bottom right corner to see the list of photos and videos that day. And there's a share function in this shortcut too. This one can be a little bit erratic, but it's worth bearing with because it works more times than not. One of the greatest features of live photos is to be able to adjust these to make long exposure photos. And you can get some really great results, even just holding your iPhone in your hand. Before I show you the shortcut, let me just show you how to make that long exposure. And it's good to know that you need to be intentional about getting the best shot for a long exposure before you actually take the shot. Water is often a good subject, and I'll show you that with a little waterfall here. So the fifth shortcut I'm going to show you here, the share long exposure shortcut, 
goes through your photo album and finds those long exposure conversions from live photos and enables you to see and share them easily. Simple, but really effective. Sixth, we have the where was this taken shortcut. This enables you to pick a photo and immediately bring up the location of where the photo was taken in Apple Maps. You can then share this location to meet a friend or to share with a client exactly where you took a particular shot. Great for roving workers, real estate agents, rangers, all kinds of people and tasks. Again, a simple and effective shortcut that works really well. Finally, shortcut number seven lets you review your activity in the Photos app over the last 24 hours. Photos you've taken and photos you've looked at. So you can review these, which is interesting by itself, but then you can delete any you don't want to keep. This is actually really useful by itself and you can maybe pair it with another automation so that say at 8 p.m. every night it runs and you can clean up your photos rather than letting them build up over time. I know I am guilty of that. Thanks for watching all. Hit me up in the comments. This one might be useful for you. See you back on the show soon.